Hi, my name is Cheese, and today I'm going to unbox the Indie Box edition of Assault Android Cactus. Opening up the box, one of the first things we see is the uh, Indie Box Challenge divider. Inside here is a flyer for the next month's Indie Box and details of the current Indie Box Challenge. And this month's challenge is to get a high score on the Assault Android Cactus level capacitor. And tweet your video of your high score to the Indie Box uh, using the Indie Box Challenge hashtag. It's worth noting that this is only available to current Indie Box subscribers. Also, in here we have a set of trading cards featuring characters from uh, a couple of Indie Boxes. The cards that I've ended up with are Cactus and Starch from Assault Android Cactus, a Vigilante Mask from Towerfall. Space Race Cassidy from Brawlhalla, and a card which makes up the larger image of the uh, Indie Box Chronicles thing. So the box itself features a bunch of new artwork, like the cover was made specifically for the Indie Box, and the back has some nice uh, character art there. The new Indie Box layout has the Steam key uh, at the bottom of the box, so if you don't want to open up your box, you can uh, still get access to the game on Steam. Compared to the Brutal Legend box that I did an unboxing for previously, uh, this one's much larger, a little bit more satisfying in ratio. The first thing we find in the box is the instruction manual, which includes some uh, backstory, details on the game's mode and gameplay, the characters in the game, and a whole bunch of uh, little tips to help people play. There are also a few snippets of uh, never-before-seen lore. Also in here we have issue 16 of the Indie Box newsletter which uh, gives some backstory on uh, Assault Android Cactus, has a word search puzzle which is entirely populated by pineapples thanks to Starch, uh, and has information on past and future indie boxes. We also have a Assault Android Cactus sticker featuring Starch, some little keychain pendant things. They're kind of like puffy stickers but aren't sticky. Uh, and they have little lanyard things that you can use to attach to your keyring if you're keen. The soundtrack has a cover that's based on another piece of promotional artwork, which was originally used as a, a sort of a cover image for the game. Uh, it has the characters in the same positions, but with their weapons. And then for the soundtrack, the weapons are replaced with musical instruments. Also in here, we have Cactus's Interplanetary Police badge. Uh, at the top, it's got her ID card. Shows that she's been demoted, uh, her signature doesn't fit within the box, and uh, she's got a bit of a dorky portrait there, it's really cool. The emblem that's included in here is metal as well. Hiding in here too, we have a cactus-themed indie box sticker. And the last thing in the box is a 2 gig USB drive in the shape of a Fido from the game. On this drive is a copy of the soundtrack in MP3 format. The contents list included in the IndieBox newsletter says that the USB drive should contain Windows, Mac and Linux builds, but due to a mix-up it seems that mine only includes the Windows build. Assault Android Cactus is currently available for Linux, Mac, Windows and PlayStation 4, with plans to release on Wii U and PlayStation Vita later this year. For more information, visit AssaultAndroidCactus.com and if you're interested, I've included links in the description to some of my interviews and articles on the game. And that's it for this unboxing. Hope that it was enjoyable, and see you next time.